It's July, 2015. I just stepped out of the shower and I'm in front of the wide view mirror combing through my hair when I notice a bald spot in the middle of my head. I shrug it off. It's a small spot after all. Just last January, I was diagnosed with cancer and I'm now fully recovered from a major surgery. With stage 1A breast cancer, you skip chemotherapy and go to hormone therapy. I'm at the end of the race. I mean, hormone therapy means no periods for the next few years. Yay! Boy, I was wrong. I remember being in client meetings, soaking through my sweat because of hot flashes. I lost all my energy. I just wanted to be home alone, if not at work. After a few weeks, I went to see my doctor, and I remembered to tell her about the bald spot. I'm in the doctor's office. She inspects my scalp, walks around her table, and sits on the chair. She looks me in the eye and says, Melissa, you have four other bald spots all around your head. You have alopecia areata. Your immune system is killing your hair. My, my what? I, I don't understand. I mean, like, I already lost my boobs. I can't lose my hair too. I mean, yeah, cancer is hard, but I, but I have a plan and I'm at the end of that plan. And alopecia has no cure. So, so what? We hope and pray that, that I get better, that I don't lose my hair. I sat there in a daze with all of these thoughts going through my head. The doctor proceeded to tell me what we need to do and she told me to take a break from work. I did, but that meant the next few days were spent crying, sleeping, and eating alone in my apartment. A few weeks after that, it's time to go to Japan with my friends. I mean, we've been planning this trip for months and it's in the calendar, so, so I went. I'm at the airport with them and I put on my cheerful self. It's time to board, so we walk together and I get to my seat and I was very happy to know that I'm, I have the whole section to myself and my friends are far away from me. It's a night flight, so after the food serve, cabin lights are dim. I drape the blanket all around me, and I curled into the smallest ball possible. I start crying again. My heart's broken. I mean, this is meant to be a happy trip with my friends, but instead, I'm faced with this massive challenge and I have no idea how to fix it. Tears are falling fast and loose as if crying is the most natural thing in the world for me. After hours of crying, I think my tear ducts are empty. A thought suddenly came to my head. Maybe I am depressed. Maybe my hormones are causing havoc in my body. This is probably what depression feels like. And with that simple thought, a flicker of hope lights up inside my heart. I know what I need to do. Let go of the reins, take it day by day, give myself and my body some time. Thank you.